Oh, that sounds, it sounds like someone who has a cold, right? So that would be, that would be Max Tilt in Fire the Depths. I'm gonna guess on this one. That sounds like that sounds like Professor Begad in the Seven Wonder series. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, they're very similar, Jules Verne and Professor Begad. I think they would have liked each other. So, because Max Tilt has synesthesia, which is an association of emotional feelings with smells. That's who said it. Max Tilt in Fire the Depths. Oh, wait a minute, but... Yeah, but she's, she's talking about Max. That's a trick. Okay, that is um, Alex. Uh, Alex Vern, um, <laughs> when she first meets her cousin Max and his family. Yeah! Um, rats like pigs. I'm gonna guess that, I'm gonna guess that Marco said it um, uh, uh, in, in one of the Seven Wonders books. Can I do it over? I have a lot of giant statues in my books, but the only way you get stuck between a head and an arm is if you're floating, so that would be um, Max Tilt, Fire the Depths, when they, uh, they they go towards the sunken city, and the person who says it is Basil? Oh, but do I get it half right? That is the character of, of Rudolph, who is the assistant to Spencer Neiman in Max Tilt, Fire the Depths, uh, because uh, he's been accused of being a bad student and he says, I had perfect attendance, when he meant to say, I had perfect attendance. Oh, yeah. I mean, it sort of sounds like um, backwards speaking, so I'm gonna guess uh, that it's Cass? It is? <laughs> so the only person that I've ever written about who has hair that looks like a ferret, um, uh, I'm thinking is Spencer Neiman, and the slimy ferret-headed toff, that's really an English thing, so um, I'm get okay, that one has got to be Basil in Max Tilt, Fire the Depths. Yes! <laughs> Nothing else? Bert and Ernie? Bert and Ernie? I'm thinking Marco, because that sounds like Marco from the Seven Wonder series. Yeah. <laughs>